I wish people understood how much fun history is. I wish people understood that like there are all these great stories. We do not know history very well to the point Ms. Younger made earlier. Uh, people lionize Reagan, but they don't know who he was. Like they can't name a single policy. Uh, they don't understand Nixon. Like we, it, it's it's the end. the short answer is is not good, and we sh we ought to be somewhat ashamed of ourselves, and we ought to do better. Um, it is, I think, not a so it's, it's not a surprise or not a mistake that we see a movement to kind of try to limit or police what's taught in history classrooms. I think we all ought to be very concerned about that. You know, studying American history requires sometimes we study stuff that's unpleasant or unethical or what was done to Japanese Americans. It doesn't mean you love your country any less. Maybe you love it more because you're willing to kind of address the, the shortcomings as well as the accomplishments. Um, but that movement, it concerns me. If we do not know our history, we do not know who we are. If we do not know our history, we do not know what has worked and what hasn't worked. If we do not know our history, we can't address the problems that we face today to build something better. History is fundamental to all of that. And to, to ignore history or to just cling to myths instead of really wrestling with it is to invite continued problems instead of solutions.